Hi, welcome back to Ingvid.com. I'm Adam. Nice to be here again. Today we're going to look at uh, comparisons. And the reason I want to do this is because I've noticed that many people make a very common mistake when they're talking about comparisons. So first, there's two types of comparisons, two ways of comparing, okay? And we're going to look, we're going to focus on one of them. We're going to focus on the difference between like and as. But I also want to look at this a little bit more than or er than as something as etc because I want to make sure that you understand that these are two different ways of comparing. Okay? So when we use more, and usually an adjective, more adjective than, for example, this car is more expensive than that car, or er, uh, this car is cheaper than that car, or as as, this car is as expensive as that car. Okay? What we are comparing in the, with these ones we're comparing qualities, okay? Speed, height, weight, cost, shape, and so on. When we use like and as, we are comparing things to things. We are comparing actions to actions, okay? The big thing, the big difference you have to pay attention to is don't mix than with as or like, okay? And don't mix, mix this as as with this as. Okay, that's the main thing we want to concentrate on. So, let's look at like and as. What is the difference between these two? Like is a preposition. It is always followed by a noun. Okay, the flower is blue like the sky. Okay, we're talking about comparing the two things. As is always followed by a clause. As is a conjunction followed by a clause. If you remember, what is a clause? Yes, it is a group of words that must include a subject and a verb, okay? So as, subject and verb. She treats me as I would like to be treated, okay? We're talking about the treatment, how she treats me, how I want to be treated. That, those are the two things we're comparing, okay? So before I give you some more examples, a very common expression, expression in English, sorry, I want you to tell me which is the correct one. Do as I say, not as I do. Or, do like I say, not like I do. Which of these is correct? Okay. If you guess the first one, you're right. Because it's as plus subject and verb, plus a clause. Okay. But, before I continue, I want to say one thing to you, and I hope this makes you feel a little bit better about yourself. Native English speakers mix these two all the time. So if you're studying grammar and you're listening to native English speakers <clears throat> and you're trying to understand the difference and they use this one incorrectly many times, don't worry about it. Many people use like when they should use as, but they don't even realize it. It is so common that it's becoming almost acceptable. It's wrong, but acceptable. Anyway, we're going to look at a few more examples and then you'll understand better the difference between like and as. Okay, so here we have a few more examples to really show you how the differences work what, between li uh, like and as and what you have to pay attention to. So first, let's look at these examples. He looks like a Martian. What am I comparing here? What am I comparing? I'm comparing he and Martian. Same look, right? But I'm comparing two people, and that's why I'm using like, okay? He speaks like a preacher. If you're not really sure what a preacher, a preacher stands in the church and says, oh, you should do this and you should do that because, well, probably God, but hey, it's up to them. He speaks like a preacher. So he and the preacher are very similar. He speaks as a preacher does. So here, remember, subject and verb. Are the sentences the same? Not exactly. Here we're comparing him and a preacher. Here we're comparing speaking styles, the way they speak. Okay? So because of the way he speaks, him and the preacher are very similar, like. But his speaking, his action, and the preacher's action are very similar. Okay? So because he speaks as the preacher does, he is like 
the preacher. I hope that makes sense. Good. She treats me like a dog. So before I said she treats me as I want to be treated. But sometimes she treats me like a dog. So what am I comparing? I'm comparing me and the dog. We're the same. We receive the same treatment from her. Okay, now, a little bit more formal, and sometimes you'll see this. Somebody says, oh, I like it. And you want to agree, you want to show, compare your feeling, as do I. So one thing you have to be careful, here, the subject and verb have switched order. You have the verb first, the subject second. This is quite acceptable, very formal. If you're not sure how to use it, especially in, in writing, don't use it. Somebody says, uh, who came to the party? Well, Linda came, as did Tom and Jerry, the cat and the mouse. I'm not sure if you know them. But as did Tom and Jerry. The verb came first, the subject came second. Very formal. Otherwise, if you don't want to do it, I, I like it, I do too. Easier, no as. Or he speaks as Kennedy used to. So we're talking about uh, Kennedy's grandson. We saw him give a speech to a large audience. You say, wow, he speaks as his father used to, right? It means in the same way, the same approach, the same aura, the same carriage. Okay, so that's one thing. Now, sometimes you might see as if or as though. It basically means you're comparing an unreal situation, right? She is shopping as if there were no tomorrow. So A, you have the if with the were, the subjunctive. That's a whole other lesson, to keep that in mind. But as if, there were no tomorrow. You have a full clause after the as if. So it's, it's sort of like like, but it's such an unreal situation, and we're talking about an action that we use as if. Okay? Uh, again, there's no, uh, there's no real clause here because of the inversion, but just remember it's an unreal situation. But having said that, most native speakers will not say this. Most, or I don't know if most, but many native speakers will say, she is shopping like there's no tomorrow. What does it mean? Tomorrow, everybody's going to die. So she wants to get as much things today as she can. It's a very common expression. Most people understand this expression as like. Like is incorrect, but acceptable. One last thing I want to mention. A whole different use of as and like, as your boss. So I, because I want you to understand this so there's no confusion. As here means in, oops, sorry, in the position of. So here, as is not a comparison. It is a preposition telling you I'm in this position. So as your boss, I am your boss, I have the power to forbid you from using Facebook at work. But if you say, like your boss, then you're comparing, then it's, you're showing a similarity. Like your boss, so your boss thinks this, I agree, I think so too. So like your boss, I forbid you from using Facebook at work. Maybe I'm the assistant boss. He's the president, I'm the vice president. Like him means I agree with him, we are similar, you can't use Facebook at work. And if you do use Facebook at work, be careful. A lot of bosses think like this. Okay, so if you need, have any more questions, go to ingvid.com. There's a quiz there. You can practice more of this stuff. You can leave questions and comments. And also uh, subscribe to my channel on YouTube. I'll see you again real soon. Thanks.